The mother of two Native American teenagers removed from a college tour by campus police says her sons are the victims of racial profiling. Thomas and Lloyd Gray were visiting Colorado State University last week when officers pulled them aside and searched them. A woman in their tour group had called 911 because she thought the young men were acting suspiciously. Jerika Duncan shows us how the university is responding. Jerika, good morning. Good morning. CSU officials say they are troubled and angered that the brothers were made to feel unwelcome. In the interest of transparency, they released the 911 call and police body cam footage, but blurred the young men's faces to protect their privacy. Hands up. Yeah, actually, we're just going to check your pockets real quick. Thomas and Lloyd Gray say Colorado State University police made them feel like suspects, even though they did nothing wrong during their campus tour. What's in there? Anything in here? Just your money? A mother on the tour group reported the young men to campus police, saying they were dressed in black and were quiet and evasive when she tried to ask them questions. If it's nothing, I'm sorry, but it, they, like, it actually made me like, feel sick. Um, uh, and I've never felt like that. Are they white males? I think they're Hispanic, I believe. Um, one of them for sure. He said he's from Mexico. The brothers are musicians and members of the Mohawk tribe. They drove about seven hours from their home in New Mexico to take the tour. Officers let the 17 and 19 year olds go only after they showed an email confirming their tour schedule. Sorry to take away from your guys' group. The way that they were talking to Lloyd, uh, the, it could have pretty much escalated quickly. Thomas and his younger brother Lloyd both say they are now hesitant to return to the CSU campus. CSU's president said in a statement, there is no place for hate at Colorado State University and we will not be silent when we see it. I felt like they treated my boys like garbage. Despite her anger, Lorraine Gray says she's glad the situation did not end worse for her sons. I'm one of the lucky mothers who still has experienced something like this with law enforcement and still have my boys alive. And there was no reason for suspicion except for this 911 caller's bias. The university says from now on, no one on a campus tour will be questioned unless officers speak with the tour guide first. CSU also wants to reimburse Thomas and Lloyd for their expenses and bring them back to campus as VIPs. The brothers told us they're unsure if they'll accept that. Nora. All right, Jerika, thank you.